MNN TV just dropped a new native LumaFusion Transitions Pack, AI Person Key Collection, with transitions that isolate the subject or subjects in your video from the background and enable transitioning them separately and with different effects. The transitions in this pack do the masking for you, saving you the time of having to apply it yourself. The AI person key effects in this pack include wipes, fades, blurs, slides, and zoom transitions. The link for the MNN TV store is in the description. The pack contains Two transition sets, person key clip A and person key clip B. Person key clip A is designed for transitions where the subject or subjects appear in the first clip, while person key clip B is used for transitions where the subjects appear in the second clip. Take a look at this example. The subject is in the first clip of the transition, so we'll use the transitions in the person key clip A set to isolate them. Let's apply the slide M left transition. As you can see, first the background transitions, and then the subject in the first clip slides out to the left. Now, in this new example, the subject is on the second clip, so we'll use the transitions in the person key clip B set to isolate them. Let's apply the same transition slide M left. This works in the opposite way. First, the subject in the second clip slides in from the left, and then the background transitions. These transitions are designed to work when one or more persons appear in one of the clips. The AI technology behind these transitions detects and isolates human figures, but doesn't support pets, cartoons, or animal characters. Clean shots with clearly visible, well-lit subjects give smoother, more precise results. The transitions in this pack are compatible with LumaFusion 5.1 or later. Now, let's take a look at some of the transitions. Here's the Fade S transition, and the inverted fade S transition. You'll notice that some of the transitions have two variations, X and S. In the X variation, the subject transitions throughout most of the duration of the transition, and the background starts fading in while the subject is still transitioning. In the S version, the subject and the background transition separately, one after the other. Here are some of the blur transitions. Here are the slide transitions. Notice that in addition to the X and S variations, there is a motion blur one, M. These are the zoom transitions. And finally, the wipe transitions. Of course, you can unleash your creativity and come up with your own effects using these transitions. Here are two examples. As I mentioned earlier, the link for the MNN TV store is in the description. So this is it for this episode. 
If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like, and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.